Hi, this is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. I thought I'd uh, go through um, the 3D PDF converter in Inventor 2017. Uh, something I guess uh, at least I've been waiting for for a long time and I think a lot of the community has also. Uh, no, uh, no digs at Autodesk but Let's face it, you know, DWFs really just weren't cutting it in a lot for a lot of people. Um, back with me, uh, if I created DWF and it, and it came out fine and it worked well, but it was on the customer side. If I sent it to a customer, I either had to make sure I send a link to the download uh, design review. Uh, the customer would have to open, install design review, and then they'd open up the DWF just to view a model that I created and um, you know a, a lot of rigmarole in a lot of cases uh, some customers weren't even allowed to install design review because of their uh, their corporation or company policies on installing software you know they'd have to get the IT department in there and install yeah it was just too much so I think uh, the 3d PDFs is a it was a long long time coming and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so let's uh, let's see what it what it does. Uh, I've got a model up here in assembly, and uh, just like um, DWF, all you're going to do is go to uh, file export, and right here you have a 3D PDF. So you know, you're going to bring it up, and right here is. Um, similar screen uh, just like your DWF I think you have a lot of eye properties that you can uh, you can check off you you can eliminate them all and just choose a few if you like um, so uh, maybe you don't want the customer to know uh, what your part numbers are whatever it may be so there's a lot of things you can uh, design tracking so you can get rid of a lot of different things uh, now this is uh, this is created by this an art core whatever so it's their first swipe uh, I'm gonna give them a lot of leeway I'm sure there's a lot of room for improvement down the road but uh, as a first effort uh, I, I really like this I think this is a, a great way to go so you've got your uh, design view reps you can select over here um, your visual quality um, high low medium now I didn't really compare uh, the visualization so much I did see that uh, these will generate much larger files as you go up into quality um, so this is a significant size difference um, but even even at significant the, we're talking uh, this is a couple megabytes and you know, these may be uh, one megabyte so uh, it's not dramatic um, this is just uh, export uh, scope uh, I don't really pay attention to this the template this is I don't know I, I just don't see use for this so much there's uh, this comes in with the software and uh, typically the uh, you know the blank is what you're going to select you can select uh, a part template assembly template uh, it'll have a border around it uh, most cases I think you just uh, you just stay with what works and um, file location simple enough and then just like anything else you can view the PDF when finished uh, this one down here I, I'm sending them a PDF I don't know that I need to generate a step file and have that attached that's something uh, I don't really see or I don't have any use for so that's that's just a little extra attachments now this one here you can take an attachment you can click attachments and uh, what you can do is you can take a 2D um, PDF of this and attach the 3D PDF to it, create one document. So there's um, there's ways to do a few other things here. So you can put the 2D and the 3D all in one file. So I could see this coming in a little bit handy. Now um, I'm going to give you one thing: is you know you're going to hit publish and it's going to go through and publish it. What I've noticed is. DWF is dramatically faster. Uh, it gets done in 10 to 30 seconds, I think. This um, this one here took um, 
well over a minute. Uh, again, I'm just going to give them a little bit of leeway because this is their first swipe, so we're going to hope that down the road this uh, this ends up being uh, a lot quicker. So uh, what do you get? So you're going to come out with a PDF, and this is what you're going to this is what you're going to come up with. Uh, one quick note: what you're going to have to do is make sure you go into uh, and this is the latest version of Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. So um, it's a free, free reader. So uh, make sure you go in. You're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and make sure that you have Enable Play uh, 3D Content. Uh, it's off by default. Not sure why, but uh, just click that on before you open up your model. So um, you've got some 3D tools up here and. You're going to go with rotate, spin, pan, uh, a couple other things. So you can see that this works pretty, uh, pretty cool. And uh, this one, uh, somewhat similar to the others. So you got some nice, nice features here. Um, the view, uh, not much there. Default view. Uh, you can toggle the model tree and then also bring in uh, your build materials here in the parts list. Uh, I don't see a way of disabling this. It's uh, a lot like the DWF. Uh, the only other way is maybe uh, derive the part, derive the assembly into a part, and then uh, create the 3D PDF if you don't want to give out too much more information. Uh, these are just, uh, again, perspective views. Uh, this one here, eh, I mean, it's a lot of bells and whistles, but I don't know that transparent. Uh, this is just visualization, solid wireframe. Uh, not sure what I would get out of this. Um, but again, uh, there may be those instances where you need, uh, I mean, it looks kind of cool. I mean, you can get uh, something out of this, but uh, send information to the customer. This is about where I want to go. This one here is another one I really don't have a lot of use for. Um, for lighting, I um, mean, I just kind of just hang with uh, with what <laughs> green. Uh, I'll probably cube light. I guess is kind of the standard. I'll just stick with what it is. Uh, this one here, I do think it's background color. I kind of like this. If you forget, you know, I've got my background in Inventor turned on, so you can see that. And I figure, well, I forgot to turn it to white for presentation or something like that. So I can go in and change the background colors. Uh, I can see this one having, uh, that's awfully nice, um, this one having uh, some use. I mean, you might want to uh, help a little dramatic background without having to affect your main model. So th this that was pretty cool, I think. Um, so this is pretty much uh, the nuts and bolts of it. Uh, more information. Let's go back and uh, let's see what the size. Here's uh, here's a DWF. And it's uh, 934K, and here's the Adobe 3.355 meg. So yeah, it's uh, three times the size. But you know what? Uh, email systems today, not a problem. Uh, email it to me, and I'd certainly rather work in Adobe and and uh, work with it this way than. Uh, have to fight with a, a DWF viewer, and so uh, I'm kind of liking this. Now let's uh, let's take a look. I did make DWF, and here's um, here's a DWF uh, that I just created. So uh, better or worse, I don't know. Let's uh, let's bring them up. See if I can get them side by side. So let's. Um, So, you know, tell you the truth, um, I don't see a lot of difference. I've got a little advantage of my background color. Um, I don't, uh, I don't see the big uh, any disadvantage except for the conversion time. Uh, the only thing that I would uh, hope that they see in the future and maybe uh, work on. So that's it. Uh, I just thought I'd uh, drop you a quick note and let you know. Um, that this is available. I think it's a great addition to Inventor, something long, long overdue. 
uh, I think something that uh, you and uh, your customers will certainly get a uh, great benefit out of. So uh, open it up, play around with it, uh, see how you like it, and uh, hope you like it as much as I do. I think it's uh, uh, a great addition. So uh, take care, and until uh, next time, this is Dave Briner.